In this episode, let us handle selecting the quantity. What we need to do is to go to app components products add a new file and we can call this one a set quantity dot tsx status functional component and we'll say set quantity and here we will return a div we will receive uh, several props so let's define an interface for our props right here also it should make this one to be a client component by using use client we can use interface and we will define our set qty props the first one will say cut counter and this will be an optional boolean so since i want to reuse this this counter component twice uh, this flag will help us to determine whether we are at our product or at our cut so if we come to this one we have this counter here which has this name quantity and if we come to this one we have this one here which doesn't have even that name so this cut counter will help us to differentiate where we are and then right here we will have our cut product of type cut product type so here we will pass handle q ty increase this will receive nothing and will return nothing so void i can just duplicate this down here and now this will be decrease we set those props here so react dot fc we include the angles here and we say set qty props right here we should receive our props here so cut product we also have cut counter we also have handle decrease and handle increase so now we need to add the styles and we can include a class name we'll display flex and we'll have a gap of eight and also we will have items at the center now here we will have another div and this div will be for this quantity but i want to dynamically display it depending on whether we are at the page here or at the cut so here I use some curly brackets and we'll use our cut counter to determine that so if this is true we display null that means that we are at the cut else we are at the product page and therefore we display a div and here is where we will be having our quantity okay let me make it caps we'll add some class name and we'll make this to be font hyphen semi bold let's save so this is just the title here awesome let's now add another div that we will have this counter on so here we'll have another div and right here uh, we'll have a button this will be for decreasing i include a minus then here we'll have a div here we will have the count so we can just say cut product dot quantity and then right here we'll have another button and this will be plus so let's style this one here we'll add a class name we can use flex we'll have a gap between them of four and then here we can set them to be at the center using item center then the text will be base that is the size of the text awesome so for each of the button here we will have an on click event for this one so on click and we'll handle quantity decrease then also this one we'll have an on click and we will handle quantity increase awesome so we need the styles for this button and this button and these styles will be similar so we can create uh, a constant and then we can reuse those styles so at the top here i can just say const btn uh, styles will be equal to and i include these quotes 
So we'll have border to be 1.2 px space. We'll have border to be straight hyphen 300. And then we'll have padding along the x axis of two and they will be rounded. So this BTN styles, we can reuse them right here. So here I just add a class name and I use this curly brackets and I pass our BTN styles there. We do the same for the other button right here. So I can copy that and I can paste that here. Now I save awesome. So let's hook this set quantity to our product details. So down here where we had quantity instead of this div, we will pass our set quantity. We click on this one to auto import it. And also we self close it. But also we should be passing several props here. So I think we should pass our cut product, which is our cut product. We need to pass uh, handle quantity increase, uh, which will be handle quantity increase. So I copy that and paste it here. Uh, I can duplicate it. Then instead of increase, I use control D to select this and this. And we say here decrease. So we don't have these functions. So let's create them. So I can say const handle quantity increase to be equal to I'll make use of use callback and I'll invoke this we pass an arrow function which also expects us to pass a dependency array so I duplicate this line alt shift bottom arrow and we change this to decrease so for now we should be able to see the styles let's check let's wait for it to refresh there we go so we already see these quantity styles, but they are not increasing nor decreasing the quantity. So let's write the logic for that for increasing and decreasing the quantity that will be inside these curly brackets. So here we just need to set our cut product. We invoke it. We pass an arrow function here. Here we will receive the previous state. So I can say previous and we can use that previous right here. We will return. We spread the previous state. So previous. We will update our quantity. So we take the quantity and we set it to uh, plus plus previous dot uh, quantity. So we take the previous quantity and we add one to it. That is what plus plus means here. Let's save and try to increase. So we can increase awesome up to whichever point you want. Now we will do a similar thing for decrease. So I'll copy this and here we should pass uh, that this is depending on our cut product right there. And also this one is depending on our cut product right there. And in here I copy this set cut product. And I'll paste it here. Let me include space between them there. And now here, instead of plus plus, we include minus minus. And I save. So now we can be able to minus all the way. Now you see that we have negative values. So we want to prevent negative values. So here we can perform a simple check. Okay. So we'll say if. And I invoke this cut product dot uh, quantity is equal to one so we immediately return here so that would prevent us from executing this code here so if i happen to refresh this page and click on negative it's not working but if we go to four and we subtract it is not going less than one because we have used return here so we can do a similar thing for our uh, increase here so here i paste this and what we will check if if this is uh, above a certain value or if it is equal to a certain value so if cut product dot quantity you can set to be maybe 99 to be maximum and here you simply return so if you go above that value 
then uh, it won't work don't know if i'll be able to click this up to 999 here i have skipped the video up to 90 and if we get to 999 we don't get above that so you can set a threshold if you want and yeah that is it for this uh, episode we are able to select the quantity and i'll be seeing you in the next one